Hello and welcome to this Infinite Run Engine tutorial. I'm Renaud from Mount Mountains and today we're gonna see how to set up pickable items in your level. Uh, right now I'm playing the Cave Theory demo level. It's actually called Sky Theory, I change the name all the time. Uh, so Sky Theory and um, as you can see I'm driving some sort of uh, futuristic plane and grabbing coins uh, that increase my score. So that's a common pattern uh, when it comes to infinite runner games. Usually you want to avoid obstacles and grab coins or whatever. Um, maybe it can be health bonuses, uh, weapons, can be really anything. Um, and the infinite runner engine contains everything you need to add pickable objects to your game. So let's have a look at some code. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a prefab of a coin. Uh, if I drag it into the scene, you'll see that that's the coins I was uh, running after. Um, and as you can see, it has it has a coin script here. So let's open it. I'm gonna close the others, and our coin script extends uh, the pickable object class. So uh, let's have a look at that one first. Um, it's a base class. It's meant to be extended. So uh, really, don't add it directly to one of your prefabs. It wouldn't it wouldn't work. Uh, however, it's important to know it exists uh, as it contains all the base logic uh, logic required by all pickable objects. Uh, so in here we'll find uh, collision detection. So it's based on Unity's physics. Uh, and when you collide, well, when the coin the coin collides, the object collides with uh, something. Uh, it can be a collider to the or a collider, so you don't have to worry about different classes for different types of projects. Uh, it will trigger the trigger enter method, and uh, here we go. Uh, so what it will do is uh, check what it's colliding with. Could be a, a background element, for example. But if it's a playable character, will continue. Uh, it will try to instantiate a pick effect. Uh, so it's an effect that you add when you uh, pick up the object. Uh, in the case of the coins in the Sky Theory demo, it has this kind of particle effect that it instantiates uh, to, you know, uh, trigger some kind of smoke explosion and uh, it will play a sound, uh, it will trigger the object pick method and uh, deactivate the object for further use. And in the object pick method, that's where you will describe when ex when extending the class, uh, what exactly happens. So uh, if we look at the coin example, uh, we'll have, we'll see that it extends the pickable object. So we, uh, we get all its properties and methods. Uh, which are basically what we've seen and uh, this peak effect uh, game object that you can instantiate when picked and uh, this peak sound effects which, which is a sound that is played. Uh, in our coin we just add the number of points we want to add because uh, when we pick our coin we get like 10 points more and uh, what we do when we pick it so we override the object pick method, method and uh, when we pick it, we tell our game manager to add points uh, and we pass it the, the number of points that we've set up. So really it's extremely simple. Uh, you can do that for different kinds of things. Uh, for example, there's also the speed bonus. So again, this extends uh, pickable object. We have different parameters here. We have the speed factor and the effect duration. And uh, when we pick the object, we make sure we have a level manager and if we do, uh, we call it temporarily multiply speed uh, method and we pass these arguments. Um, of course you could do much more. Uh, you could decide to grab a weapon, you could decide to uh, end the game maybe, uh, you could decide to switch to another level. Uh, it can be used for really a lot of stuff um, and it's very easy to extend as you can see. There's not much more to say about pickable objects. Uh, it's really a simple mechanism, but one that I think can be useful in a lot of ways. I hope you learned something new today, and I'll see you next time.